Hello? Hello, Jackhead. This is Archie. Come over right away. It's a matter of life or death. Oh, relax, Archie. Relax. <laughs> Yes, here he is again. The young the millions of readers of Archie Comics Magazine know and love so well Archie Andrews and all his gang. <laughs> and now for our weekly visit to Riverdale. It's late Saturday morning as we look in on the Andrews home, and we find Mr. Andrews in the living room seated at his desk, just completing a job that millions of American fathers had to do this week. He's making out his income tax report. Oh, and that's that. Wow. I thought I'd never get it finished. If I make these forms any more complicated, it'd be simpler not to earn any money at all. Ooh, and this check, it hurts my wallet just to look at it. Oh, well, tax has got to be paid. I'll just sign this form. Put the check in with the form. There. I'll put it in the envelope. And... Yeah. And it's over and done with. Mary! Yes, dear? Well, finally finished. Finished with what? With what I've been working on all morning, of course, my income tax. Oh, that. Fred, I'm much too busy to talk about little things like income taxes. Little things like income taxes? Mary, if you saw the size of the check I just had to write to Uncle Sam, you wouldn't think it was little. Well, you know how much I have yes, to... Yes, dear, yes, but I'm in a hurry right now. I'm going to the Women's League luncheon today. Yes, dear, but if you knew how much and I... And I promised Mrs. Lodge I'd get there early and help the committee. But if you knew how much I... And I'm I... late now, and I still have to put my hat on. But if you knew how much I... So I can't possibly stand around discussing income taxes now, or I'll never get to that luncheon. Mary, mm-hmm. don't you want to know how much I had to pay? Later, dear, when I get back from the luncheon. Oh, all right, Mary, all right. Go to your old luncheon. Is Archie home? He should be up in his room, Fred, if... Yes, dear. She's busy. Archie! 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 Dad, is somebody calling me? (laughs) Oh, great. No, Archie, no. Somebody is not calling you. I am calling you. Oh, you? Yes, come down here, please. Oh, okay, Dad, I'll be right there. That boy, you scream your head off for him, and he says... Is somebody calling me? Oh, I don't know. Hiya, Dad. What did you want? Archie, I want you to do me a favor. Go mail this letter to the tax collector. Gee whiz, Dad, now? Yes, Archie, now. It'll just Gee whiz, Dad, I don't want to go way down to the post office now. All morning long, I've done nothing but run errands. I had to go to the store twice for months, three times for myself, and then I I put all the papers in the tin cans out for the... Archie! And then I went... All right. I understand that you've had to go to the store half a dozen times. But this is my income tax, and it's very important. And it's got to be mailed right away. Now, you don't have to take it to the post office. Just take it down to the corner mailbox. And I won't ask you to run any more errands after this. Promise? Cross my heart and hope to die. (laughs) Well, it's a deal, Dad. I'll go mail the letter. Thank you. Oh, but Archie... Yes, Dad? Don't stop and get into any ball games now or lose that letter or anything. It's It's important, so get it mailed. I will, Dad. I will. Oh, that boy. Getting him to do anything well, is just like... I'm all set to go, dear. But, uh, Fred, is this new hat look all right? Yes, dear, it looks lovely. Mm, new hat! Mary, another new hat? Yes, dear. Do you like it? Mary, I like it, love it, and adore it, but I can't afford it. Can't afford it? Fred, I had to have something decent to wear to this luncheon. Mary, Every other I... woman will be there with a new dress and a new Mary, hat. I... But I suppose you want me to go dressed in old rags. Mary, you I... don't care what I look like in public. Mary! All right, dear, I understand. I do not want you to go dressed in old rags, and I do like you to look well in public. All I'm saying is that you spend entirely too much money on hats. Oh, is that so? Well, how much do you think I've spent on hats in the past year? About $500 at least. I, 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 yai, yai, yai. Good grief. (laughs) Oh, Fred, what is it? $500. I forgot all about it. Fred, I don't spend anywhere near that. Mary, I know, I know. I'm not talking about your hats. I'm talking about my income tax. Income tax? Yes, I just remembered that we gave $500 to churches and charities this year, and I forgot to deduct it from my income. Are you supposed to? Yes. 
Yes, you certainly are supposed to make every deduction that you're entitled to. And we gave that money to legitimate charities. And that's a tax-deductible item that would have saved me at least $50 in taxes. And you forgot about it. I not only forgot about it, I just said, Archie, you ought to mail the return. Oh, boy, $50 out of the window. 50 beautiful dollars. Oh, well, I... Fred, where are you going? I'm going to try to catch Archie. If he stopped to talk to somebody like he usually does, maybe I can catch him before he mails that for him and save myself $50. Well, Dad, I mailed your letter. What? Archie! Archie, tell me you didn't. Huh? Archie, please tell me you forgot to mail it. Or you mailed the wrong letter, or it's still in your pocket or something. Gee whiz, Dad, you yourself told me to get it mailed right away, so I did. Oh, no. Fifty dollars lost and gone forever. Huh? I just remembered the deduction I could have taken that would have saved me at least fifty dollars. But now it's too, too... Hey, wait a minute. Well, what's the matter? Nothing's the matter. I just thought of a way I may be able to get that letter back. How? It's in the mailbox now. I know it, Archie, but we could go down there and wait for the mail pickup truck to get there, and maybe if I explain things to the mailman, he'll give me the letter back. Come on, Archie. But, Fred, who knows when the truck will get there? You may have to wait hours. Mary, for $50, I'd wait all night if I had to. <laughs> So fast, Dad. Not so fast. Archie, I, I, I don't I don't want to miss that pickup truck. But, Dad, they always come past our house. We'd have seen them if they were here. I know, I know, I know. I, I'm still not taking any chances. I'm missing that truck. Well, Dad, here's uh. the mailbox, and the truck isn't even in sight yet. Oh, good. We made it. Now, Archie, look at the little card on the front of the mailbox and see what time it says the mail is picked up on Saturdays. Gee was Dad, there's no card here. Yeah, there isn't. Oh, fine. Well, I guess there's nothing to do but settle down for a nice, quiet wait. That's all. A Hello. G- good, good grief. Jughead. What'd you expect? The Pony Express? <laughs> <laughs> no, Jughead, I did not expect the Pony Express, nor you either. Gee whiz, Jug, what are you doing here? I just came down to mail my father's income tax form in an empty envelope for my Uncle Herman. An empty envelope for your Uncle Herman? Yeah, no income. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, great. Jughead, I am in no mood for your jokes right now. I've got to get a letter back. Huh? I came down to this mailbox to get a letter. You came down to the mailbox to get a letter? That's right. Mr. Andrews, do you feel all right? Yeah. Jughead, look, what my father means is I just mailed his income tax form, and then he remembered he made a mistake in it, and now he wants to get the letter back. That's right. In fact, I've got to get it back. Gee, I don't blame you. Income tax evasion is a serious offense. Well, Jug, I... They did... gave Al Capone 11 years, you know. Jug, Jughead, I... When you did... get out, it's pretty tough to get a job. Jug, please. And you're not as young as you used to be. Jughead, all right. Would you please stop putting me in prison? Huh? I did not make that kind of a mistake on my income tax. I paid the government more than I should have. More than you should have? Yes, $50 more than I should have. I... Gee, is that's pretty silly. <laughs> Yes, Jug, it was. Don't you know the value of money? Yes, Jug, I'm... Nobody goes around paying $50 more than they're supposed to. Jug, I... You'll never get rich doing things like that. Jughead, I know that. And I know the value of money and that it was silly and I do not need any lectures from you on the subject. The whole thing was an accident, you understand? I didn't mean to do it. And that's why I want to get the letter back. Oh, I see. <sighs> I'm glad you do. But how are you going to get a letter out of the mailbox? I'm going to wait until the... You can't even get your hand inside this slot. I know, Jughead. I'm going to wait Yeah, I can hardly get more than my fingers in there. It... Jughead, what are you doing now? Get your hand out of that mailbox. You're not allowed to tamper with the mail. It's a federal offense. Now, get your hand out of there before somebody sees you. He was Mr. Andrews. I would if I could. All right. For a minute, I thought you said... You would if you could! Jughead, what are you talking about? My fingers, they're stuck in there. Oh, no. Oh, boy, Jughead, how the dickens did you do that? I don't know. They went in okay, but they won't come out. Oh. Now he's done it. Jughead, I... Like a rat in a rat trap. Jughead, don't... Like a bear in a bear trap. Jughead, please. Like a male in a male bag. Jug, I... Get me out of here! Jughead, will you please be quiet? Oh, me? Yes, you. You're not trapped like a rat. You're trapped like a foolish kid who put his hand in the mailbox. Now, if you'll just calm down, we'll get your hand out of there. I'm calm. Now, maybe if I take hold of his wrist and I can pull his fingers out. Hey, that's a good idea, Dad. Yeah. yeah, but don't break my wrist now. Jughead, if I break anything, it will be after we get your hand out of this mailbox. 
How you ever got your fingers stuck in there, I'll never know. Even an idiot, even a moron, even a madman could know better than to catch his fingers in a mailbox slot. I, 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 I... Good grief. What's the matter, Dad? Oh, I caught my fingers in there, too. Oh, boy. Oh, no, Dad. How did you do that? Archie, how do I know how I did that? Hey, Mr. Andrews. I was just trying to get Jughead's hand out, and I got my hand stuck. Mr. Andrews. And don't ask so many foolish questions. Think there's some way to get me out of here. Mr. Andrews. Hurry up before a policeman sees me and throws me in jail or something. Mr. Andrews. Well, what is it, Jughead? I got my hand out. I know that, and I'm very glad you got your hand out. Uh Uh-huh. Three, two hands. Oh, great. Jughead, how the dickens did you do that? I pulled the slot down a little and my hand came right out. <laughs> it worked. Well, my hand is out. Oh, boy, that's swell, Dad. For a <laughs> minute, I was afraid you'd be stuck there for hours. Oh, actually, so was I. But the fact is, we're unstuck now, and before anything else happens, I want to make it clear to both you kids, I want no more shenanigans from either one of you. Now, you understand? I want no more lectures or advice or demonstrations with mailboxes. We are just going to wait right here until that pickup truck comes along and nothing else. Now, you hear? Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Andrews. But Mr. Andrews? Yes, Jughead. The pickup truck won't be here for hours. How do you know that? Because it was here just a minute before you and Archie got here. Yes, Jughead. I know perfectly well that it was here before we got here. Jughead, are you sure? Positive. I had to run like the Dickens to catch it and took all the letters and drove off. I took all the letters and just... Oh, Jughead, you know something. Yes, Mr. Andrews? It's a good thing for you this mailbox is so small. But as if it weren't, I'd put a stamp on you and mail you off to the North Pole. Special delivery. Gee, I'm sorry. I didn't remember about the pickup truck sooner, Mr. Andrews. Oh, Judge, forget it. That truck won't get to the post office much before we do, and... Maybe we can still talk him into giving me that letter back. I... Oh, there's the post office now, Dad. Oh, good. <sighs> oh, come on. We have to get in there and get that letter back before it gets dumped in with millions of others and gets shipped out of town. Oh, Archie! Archie Gee whiz, there's Betty. Oh, fine. Archie, we have no time to talk to Betty now, so... Hello, Archie. Please... Oh, Jack. Hello, Mr. Hi, Betty. Hi, Betty. Hello, Betty. Now, Betty, look, we're in a little hurry right now. I have to get a letter back to the post office right away. So would you just come along and not stop to talk to us right now? Oh, but it's I... very important. I want to catch that letter before it gets shipped out. But so I... just come along like a good girl, and you can talk to Archie and Jughead after we get the letter back. But, Mr. Andrews, the post office is closed. Yes. Closed? It can't be. But it is. I just came down here to buy some stamps, but it was closed when I got here. Gee whiz, that's right, Dad. The post office always closes at 12 o'clock on Saturdays. Gee, that's oh, right. Oh, no. I have to get that letter back. It's worth $50 to me. And you don't find that kind of money in the street. No, you find it in the post office. <laughs> Chuck, this is no time for your jokes. Golly, Mr. Andrews, I have an idea. Yeah? Maybe there's someone still working in there, even if the front door is locked. Lots of times they work in the back room sorting out the mail, even after the front part is closed. Hey, that's right. By George, it is. So maybe if we went around to the back, you could get someone to open up and find your letter for you. Betty, that's a wonderful idea. Come on, kids. We'll go around to the back and make them open up the post office. Betty, I'm glad you suggested that. Oh, it wasn't anything, Mr. Andrews. Oh, yes, it was. It might be worth $50 to me. Yes, sir, I'll just go knock on the back door and make them open. Oh, 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 fine. What's the matter, Dad? Archie, this fence is the matter. Fence. Oh, boy. And those gates the trucks go through a lot. They certainly are. <laughs> a lot tighter than, tighter than tight. But how do the trucks deliver the mail? Maybe I haven't any idea, unless each driver has a key to these gates, and he unlocks it when he drives up. Gee whiz, and how are you going to get to that back door? The vaguest idea of that, either. Well, I have another good idea, Mr. Andrews. Betty, there's no idea that's going to get rid of this iron fence. Oh, this one will, Mr. Andrews. Why don't you have Archie and Jughead boost you over? Boost? You mean climb the fence and then go knock on the back door? Uh Uh-huh. Betty, that is a good idea. Oh, gee whiz, Dad, I don't think you'd better try that. Archie, for $50, I'd try anything. Now, look, you and Jug are going to boost me over this fence right now. Jug, you take one foot. Archie, you take the other. Well, okay, Dad. Got it. All right. Got the other. Okay, now lift. Lift. Ah, 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 Get a little higher. A little higher. Ah, Got it. Ah, okay, let's go now. I'll jump down the other side. Oh, I made it. Had a boy, Dad. Had a boy, Mr. Andrews. Oh. You kids wait right there now while I go to try the back door. Okay, Dad, but hurry up. Just take a minute, Archie. Hey there. Open up. Wait. 
all got grief. What's the matter, Dad? There's no one in there. Guy, are you sure? I'm positive. I can see the entire bathroom and there's no one in there. Well, he went to all this trouble for nothing. Gee whiz, now what do we do? Actually, there's only one thing left to do, and I'm getting just mad enough to do it. I'm going to get out of here and go straight to the postmaster's house and make him open the post office and find my letter for me. Gee, do you think he will? He better. After all, I'm a taxpayer like anybody else, and I have some rights. Sir, I'll get out of here and we'll go see the postmaster. How? What do you mean, how? In my car, that's how. I, I don't mean that. I mean, how are you going to get out of there? Exactly the same way I got out of here. <laughs> oh, no, there's nobody here to boost me back up. Oh, boy, we never thought of that. Oh, oh golly, you're stuck again. <laughs> Archie, can you, can you get your arms through the fence to boost me up? Oh, not a chance, Dad. These bars are too close together. Yeah. You look like a monkey in the zoo. Ha <laughs> ha Now listen to me, you kids. Now think of something quick. This is ridiculous. I can't stay locked up in this backyard of the post office. I've got to get out of here. Well, Mr. Anders, I have another good idea. Yes, Betty, what is it? If Jughead boosted Archie over... Yes? Then Archie could boost you back out. And then who'd boost me back out? Oh, I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> Well, think of something. Wait, I have another idea. Yes? If Jug boosts Archie over there... Yes? And Archie boosts you out... Yes, yes? And then you could boost Jug over there with Archie... Yes, yes? Then Jug would boost Archie out. Yes. Well, get me out. Yes. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, Betty, that's no good either. Come on, you kids, think of something. Dad, I... I can't stay in here all day. Dad, this is I... is government property. Dad, I'll get arrested I... for trespassing or something. Dad, well, I... Well, what is it, Archie? Well, I just noticed something. What did you notice? Well, you see way down the fence, that little gate where the post office employees go in and out? Yes, I see it. What about it? It's wide open. I see the... It's wide open. Oh, boy. Golly, it is open. You mean to say I've been climbing this fence like a monkey for no reason at all? Gee, it looks that way, Dad. Well, that's fine. That's great. But, Betty... Yes, Mr. Andrews? If you get any more good ideas, do me a favor. Tell them to somebody else. <laughs> trouble back at the post office, Mr. Oh, Andrews. look, Betty, I Betty, will... let's just forget about the post office. We have the postmaster's home address now, and the main thing is to go to see him, convince him to open the post office for me and find my letter. Gee, do you think he will, Dad? He might, if I can explain the situation to him. I think it's the next house, Mr. Andrews. Uh, yeah, you're right, Jughead, it is. <sighs> Gee whiz, this is just around the corner from Veronica's house, Dad. Archie, I am not interested in Veronica right now. I want to see the postmaster and... Oh, boy, there's Veronica now. Now, Archie, look, I don't want to stop and talk to her now. Ask her Hello, to... Hello, Mr. Fix... Andrews. Hello, Betty. Hello, Jackie. Hello, Hello, Veronica. And, um... <laughs> Hello, Archie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> look, Archie... I... Hi, you all, Archie Kin. I want... It's awful nice to see you all, Archie. Dear. <laughs> Archie, would you please stop that confounded giggling? My goodness, is, is something the matter, Mr. Andrew? No, Veronica, nothing is the matter. But I've got to see the postmaster right away, and according to the telephone book, he lives at this address. Oh, that's right, he does. But I haven't... That's no... all I wanted to know. Now, you kids wait right here, and I'll go up and ring the bell. But, Mr. Andrews, I... There's no point in a whole herd of us dropping in on a man. But, Mr. Andrews, Veronica, I... I'm sure whatever you have to tell me can wait till later. I want to get this letter business settled once and for all. Now, you kids wait right here. But, Mr. Andrews, look at that sign. Veronica, I'm not interested in any sign. But it says, beware of the dog. Veronica, I can read just as well as you can, and I know perfectly well that sign says, beware of the dog. What dog? <laughs> that dog. Oh, oh, boy, what a beast. Oh, golly, run, Mr. Andrews. Run, run. Get away, boy. Get away. Quick, climb up that tree. Climb the tree, Mr. Climb Andrews. the tree, Daddy. He can't reach you there. Get away, boy. Get away. Keep climbing, Dad. Keep climbing. Keep climbing. Hi, right boy, Mr. Andrews. Are you safe now? Oh, boy, he can't reach you now. Dad, you're safe. Oh, I'm safe, am I? You call hanging here like a monkey wrapped around a flagpole being safe? 
Oh. That monster just waiting for me to slip. Get rid of that dog. But how, Dad? I don't know. Call him. Oh, okay, Dad. Here, boy. Here, boy. Maybe it's a girl. <laughs> Don't be quiet. Get that dog away from me. Archie, quick, get a stone. What for? To throw over in those bushes. If he's a good watchdog, he'll go rushing over there to see what the noise is, and your father can get back out here. Hey, that's a good idea, Veronica. Hold on, Dad. Here's a stone, Archie. Thanks, Betty. Here goes. Go get it, boy. Go get it. Hey, hurry up down, Dad. Get down off that tree. I am, I am, I am. And close the gate after you. Oh, boy, safe at last. Oh, my goodness, you show sure were lucky. Golly, I'll say you were. And how? One more minute and that beast would have had me. Veronica, would you mind explaining how come you live right around the corner and you didn't know there was a vicious dog here? Oh, my goodness, Mr. Andrews, I did know it. That was one of the two things I was trying to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. Uh, Veronica, did you say two things you were trying to tell me? Uh-huh. And what is the other one? Well, the other is that I heard my mother say the postmaster is the guest speaker at the Women's League luncheon today. So he isn't even home. Isn't even home? Ho- oh, no. Do you think we ought to bother the postmaster at this lunch? Look, Archie, after what I've been through already, I'm going to get that letter back now if it kills me. And it might, too. Jughead, I can do without your remarks. But, my goodness, Mr. Andrews, aren't you afraid you'll upset the whole luncheon? No, Veronica, I will not upset any luncheon. I just want to get to the postmaster for a minute and ask him if he'll find my letter for me. If he says he will, then we'll wait around till the luncheon is over. If he says he won't, then we'll just go home and forget the whole thing. Tickets, can... please. Yeah. Huh? I said tickets, please. Oh, oh, tickets. Uh, is this where the Women's League is having its luncheon? That's right. Tickets are $10 a piece. Yes, I... $10? Yeah. For a luncheon? That's right. It's a fundraising affair. Oh, fine. Well, look, mister, I don't want to raise any funds. I, I don't want any luncheon. I, I just want to talk to the postmaster for half a minute, and I'll come right out. Sorry, I can't let anyone in without tickets. Them's my orders. But this is an emergency. I'll only be in there half a minute. Sorry, I can't let a mob like this go in there. Oh, the kids aren't coming in with me. They'll wait here. Just you going in? That's right. And you'll be right out? I promise. Well, all right. But don't let me catch you trying to eat any lunch without a ticket. Oh, mister, lunch is the last thing I want right now. Well, okay. Go ahead in. All right, thanks a lot, mister. Uh, uh, wait, wait there, kids. Okay, Dad, hurry. Sure. I've got to find that postmaster. Let's see now. So well. Oh, good grief. Can that be he making the speech at the head table? Yes, no, I'll bet it is he, all right. Fred Andrews, what in the world are you doing here? Uh, Mary, what are you doing here? Well, this is the luncheon I was telling you about. What on earth are you doing here? I've got to see the postmaster. Oh, for pity's sake. Well, sit down. He's speaking right now. But, Mary, I can't stay hey, here too long. Sit down. People are starting to stare. But the man said I couldn't... Fred, sit down, please. <laughs> Oh, me, all right, Mary, all right. But will he be through soon? I can't stay very long. Uh-huh. I thought so. Oh, that ticket taker. Mr. Look, I thought you I... looked like a gate crasher. Mr. I tell you, I didn't... Please, you're making a scene. <laughs> Oh, Dad, Dad, did you find him? Archie, I... Who let you kids in here? Well, Mr. Please. please. Said we couldn't come in. Jughead, I... Oh, my goodness, everyone's watching Veronica, us. I know. We we're upsetting everything. Now, Betty, stop. Either the buy tickets or leave. Oh, now, just geez, a minute here. Just one, one minute. That's better. Now, listen to me, all of you. This nonsense has gone far enough, and I don't want to peep out of any one of you kids. Yes, Dad. Uh, uh, ladies, I am... Uh, well, I am terribly sorry to have interrupted your luncheon like this. My humble apologies. I only wanted to see the postmaster on an important matter. The postmaster? Freddy just left. He just left? Yes, he finished his speech and had to catch a plane to Washington. Oh, no. Mary, let's get out of here quick. I'd like nothing better. Come on, children. I apologize, ladies. Excuse me. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Oh. 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 Well, Fred, I've never been so embarrassed in all my life. Gee, me too, Dad. Me too. Oh, Mary, I'm sorry. Believe me. I should think so. I never intended to cause such a scene. And it's all my own fault. And only my own fault. It all happened because I wanted to get that letter back and save $50. Huh. Well, I can see now it's been more trouble than it's worth. So, 
just going to forget the whole thing. Well, I wish I could. I'll be hearing about this for weeks. Well, uh, look, look, Mary, dear. <laughs> I, I, I'll do anything I can to make this up to you. <laughs> yes, sir, Mary? You may even have another new hat. Fred, I can't. You certainly can't. Oh, that's very sweet, Fred. Yeah, Thank it's you. all right, dear. It's all right. Oh. Yeah, now let's just go home and forget this whole thing ever happened. Hey, Mr. Andrews, is that you? Jeez, who's that? Oh, gee whiz, it's Mr. Pringle, our mailman. Our mailman? Boy, this sure is lucky running into you over here, Mr. Andrews. Save me a trip clear across town. What will save you a trip? Meeting you here. I was just going to your house to return this letter to the Income Tax Bureau. You forgot to put a stamp on it. I forgot to put a stamp the letter I've been chasing all afternoon? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. The Andrews will be back in just a moment. But first, did you ever watch a building going up, floor by floor, carefully, deliberately, systematically it grows until the roof is on and the job is done? Well, that's the way you can build your future with United States defense bonds. And while your future grows, you help build up our nation's defense. The simple way to buy these defense bonds is through the payroll savings plan. Your savings will build up before you know it when you use the payroll savings plan. Yes, join the payroll savings plan where you work. Or, if you happen to be self-employed, the bond-a-month plan where you bank. Defense bonds are profitable, safe, and sure. They make you a shareholder in the greatest country on earth. Now, if you can't participate in a regular plan, buy an extra bond now at any bank or post office. Remember, defense is your job. Buy United States defense bonds. And now back to the Andrews. It's an hour later, and the Andrews have returned home and recovered from the harrowing experience of chasing the letter that came back anyway. We find Mr. Andrews at his desk in the living room, just finishing his revised income tax as Mrs. Andrews enters. Fred, I'm home. You Home? Mary, I didn't even know you were out. Well, dear, you were so busy revising that income tax, I didn't want to bother you. So I just went downtown and bought that new hat you said I could have. New hat? Mary, another new hat? But, Fred, you yourself told me to get it. And you can pay for it with the $50 you saved on your income tax. Oh, Mary, that's just the trouble. I just refigured my income tax with that new deduction. I don't know how it happened, but I now owe $50 more than I did before. <laughs> You've been listening to another chapter of The Adventures of Archie Andrews, written by Carl Jampel and based on the copyrighted feature appearing in Archie Comics Magazine. Archie is played by Bob Hastings, Jughead by Harlan Stone, Mom and Dad Andrews are played by Alice Yerman and Arthur Cole, Veronica and Betty by Gloria Mann and Rosemary Rice. Also in today's cast were Wendell Holmes, Nat Poland, and Donald Bain. This program is produced and directed by Kenneth McGregor. Listen next Saturday at the same time for more of the merry adventures of Archie Andrews. This is Dick Dudley wishing you a very pleasant weekend. So long, everybody. Three chimes mean good times on NBC. There's music and mystery tonight on NBC. For music, your hit parade brings you the top tunes in the land as selected by you and presented by Raymond Scott's orchestra, Eileen Wilson and Snooky Lanson. For mystery, Herbert Marshall stars as the man called X, an intrepid adventurer in international intrigue. Kids enjoy Smile Ned McConnell's wonderful show today on NBC. <laughs> WNBC, AM and FM, New York. Next, Wayne Howell, Vaughn Monroe, and Richard Conte review the hits. The House of Music opens its doors this afternoon at 2.30, bringing you three full hours of grand Saturday afternoon listening. Your host, Wayne Howell, will be expecting you.